Time now for sports with Casey Conlon. Ty Erickson came into last year's National Finals Rodeo number one in the world, but finished a disappointing seventh after a rough ten nights. He's clearly learned from his mistakes. Erickson came into tonight number one in the world and the NFR average with four rounds to go. Scott Breen anchors our coverage from Vegas. Welcome back, everybody, to the hottest ticket in Las Vegas for 10 straight nights. Let's get inside to action for round seven of the National Finals Rodeo. All eyes in Montana are on this guy, Helena's Ty Erickson. Erickson's closest threat, Tyler Pearson, who opened tonight in 3.6 seconds. So Erickson needed to be 4.8 or quicker to keep his average lead. How about 4.4? So Ty is four tenths of a second ahead of Pearson for the average lead, right where he wants to be. The first couple rounds, I was just kind of getting in the speed jam, you know, wanting to win so bad, it just kind of getting in a hurry, you know, and after that, a lot of guys were just telling me, slow down, like just make your runs, and that's kind of what I've been focusing on, uh, and it's been working the last few rounds. There's a new Saddle Bronx Sheriff in town, Wyoming rookie Brody Crest, 21 years old, taking his finals from Tarleton College this week. By Saturday, he'll have a diploma and may own his first world title. 80 points aboard Hickok, split sixth place money. Crest still leads the average, which is a fat payday if it holds. With three rounds to go, he's actually projected to win the world title by a little over $1,100. Jay Irvazane settles for 83 in the bareback, no paycheck. Team roping, Clay Tryon is just chasing round money. No threat to win a world title, gambles tonight and misses the head. Cutbank's Dustin Bird and his partner Russell Cardoza play the game in 4-5, but tack on a five-second penalty for breaking the barrier. No money there either. Circle native Lisa Lockhart is transitioning her 19-year-old horse, Chisholm, into retirement. So it's just Lisa and Louie here, and entering tonight, they'd only cast one check, but rolling through her 11th NFR, Lockhart has learned to simply appreciate every moment. Just being here and competing, and you know, you wait for that night every night when they call your name and it's your turn to enter that arena and um, there's just no feeling like that. Just competing is, is what I'm here for and it's just the name of the game. Name of the game tonight was another paycheck. Fourth place for Lisa and Louie in 13.63 seconds. And that puts a lid on round seven at the National Finals Rodeo. We'll see you back here tomorrow night for round eight. In Las Vegas, Scott Breen, MTN Sports. Thanks, Scott. Here's how the numbers look in the races we're watching. Erickson once again leads by just under $20,000 now after Pearson split second and third place money tonight. But Erickson again still four tenths ahead in the average, so still projected to win the world, although it's going to be a tight three rounds. Speaking of tight, those are still what the Saddle Bronc races are. Jacobs Crawley still leads it, but Ryder Wright gains. Brody Crest goes back a spot, but still leads the average and still projected to win the world, as Scott told you. Three more rounds. We'll see what happens down there in some tight races.